I have a confession. I have another childhood confession. This one's a little bit. This is anonymous, right? Shameful. I have one more confession. Hope pretty bad about that. This is anonymous, right? I have one more confession. We were driving home on Route 7, and it was dark out, it was night, and someone said, I know, let's do a Chinese fire drill, where you stop the car, and everyone gets out, and switches seats, and blah, blah, blah. And we decided we were going to do this, and everyone would switch except the driver, because it was her car, and she didn't want to switch. My friend, Audrey, she was driving. She starts slowing down, and we were going maybe 60, and then we slowed down to 40, and then we slowed down to maybe 30. And when we were going about 30, the boy, Ian, in the back seat, threw open the door and jumped out of the car. Somehow, his foot got caught in the wheel, and he got stuck under the car. And of course, we stopped, and I think we stopped on his foot. And I thought we'd run him over. I thought maybe we were going to kill him. And everyone was screaming and freaking out, and no one knew what to do. And you know what I did in the back seat? I plugged my ears, and I shut my eyes, and I pretended it wasn't happening. (laughs) I did. I really did. That is what I did. (laughs) And I just tried to wish it all away, wish that we weren't killing my friend under the car. (laughs) Somehow, he was totally unhurt. He'd been wearing skate shoes that protected his foot and some weird windbreaker that protected his shoulder and like nothing was hurt. He was fine. We were all shaken up, but it was all totally fine. But I, I don't know. I didn't do anything. I just plugged my ears. About four years back, worked for a local dry cleaning company. Drove to Queechy, picked up some laundry and I had to drive it back to Burlington in the van. The van had no tape player, no CD player, just an AM radio, and somewhere about 10 miles outside of Queechee, we lost a lot of reception. So I was kind of bored, decided to, uh, you know, kind of rub one out. There was a roll of toilet paper there. I kind of had to set some things up, and when the semis came by, well, it got a little shady. But, uh, hell, it killed like 15 minutes, and... Next thing you know, I was halfway to Burlington. My friends Graham and Mo and I ventured to the great city of Burlington. We found ourselves dumpster diving at Dunkin' Donuts on Shelburne Road. And... I was the escape car, so Graham and Mo dove into the dumpsters and came out with a large trash bag. They jump in the car, scream, go, 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 and we took off down the road. They rolled open the windows and started throwing unfrosted donuts out the window. On the side of the road, there was a girl walking very slowly, looking really, really, really sad. And I see her thwack get hit with a donut. Her face turns bright red, and I swear that she started crying right away. Well, we once glued everything on my 10th grade history teacher's desk to her desk. So she couldn't pick any of it up. Looking back on that, that might have been a mistake. I lost some days of school and just wasn't very good. My mom was upset. I saw these ants and I had these matches. I set them on fire. One of them started shaking their legs. 
I'd done it. And I was just watching him burn. So the only thing I could think of doing was spitting on it to put the fire out. So I spit on it. But then I was realizing that, oh my gosh, all of a sudden that's like a big, huge bucket of, of saliva fell from the sky and fell on top of his head after he was already burning. I felt so bad for so long that when I turned 20, I became a vegetarian. I watched my neighbor break frogs' legs once. He just caught a bunch of frogs and then proceeded to break all their legs. And I didn't understand why. And then, about five years later, he ended up in juvenile detention hall for trying to uh, kill his girlfriend with a butter knife, so it kind of made more sense at that point. My mom was upset. I felt pretty bad about that. I don't feel very I good about that. I thought maybe we were going to kill him. Ah! I don't really ah! regret doing it. That's my I'd do it again if I had to. And I was acting on I don't really regret doing it. The bus driver in between our fiasco. I'd do it again if I had to. So this is uh, the letter. It's completely anonymous, right? I mean, afterwards, you're going to put one of those. I don't feel very Scrape my face that. thingies and fuzz it all out. Ah! My mom was upset. Ah! <laughs> so this is uh, completely right. anonymous, right? I mean, afterwards you can put one of those scrape my face things and fuzz it all out. One day we ran away from our house. I wish that we weren't killing my friend under the car. <laughs> I don't really regret doing it. I'd do it again if I had to.